I think we're starting, but we don't quite have Scott. Let's try this again. I might have to have him log out and log back in. It's not working. It's not working. Welcome to Double Funnel TV. We are building the different aspects and pieces of funnels live each morning from 9 to 10. And right now we normally have Scott, but he's not working. So Scott, if you can hear me, you might have to close out and restart. Uh, and restart. I'm not sure he can hear me. So we're just going to type it over here. Can I block him? Block. Block him, block him. Um, if you do not have, um, today we're going to be working on a high converting website optimization that we built out yesterday. But where we're going with this today is how to optimize it. So I threw my website to the wolves and I did it to mine, no one else's. So they could pick me apart and they will pick me the most apart because they all know me and they can't, right? Um, man, I am getting no love here him but I got some feedback and we're gonna roll back over it but at the end of the day I'm gonna still keep um, the heart of the high converting website because there's reasons it works and so some of the feedback was like I don't like some of the building blocks but you can't please everybody apparently I can't please everybody on this very thing I'm afraid to refresh it because it'll all go away uh, add guest. I already did that. Oh, what I just opened. That's cool. Got no love here. I also feel like I need to restart. Oh, God. Bye. That did not work for me. Oh, push that button. Add a poll. All right, so he's gone. But I almost feel like I might have blocked him for good. Um, hmm, hmm. Uh, so let me go ahead and we build. So the nice thing is if you would like to have us build your website, um, your main page, we're not talking about intricate websites with, you know, a billion pages or anything like that. In fact, most of these pages are going to be really simple not a lot of pages because honestly you don't need a long website page you don't need 50 tabs on the top in fact it really needs to be rather simple the idea is they have to reach out and to contact you and that they're directed to the page to contact you the action that you want them to actively take um, because that's what you're doing you're ultimately building a funnel right all funnels are websites not all websites are funnels right so and on this we're also doing the email we're doing um, some of the social um, we're doing the wow, what did we do we've done a lot of the imagery here uh, okay that's not him waiting for him Any update? Feels so weird he's the talkative chatty one chatty 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 Oh, there he goes. Give me a picture. It's all white still. Why is it all white? Oh, there it goes. I think he had to go to his phone. He doesn't look like he's on. He is. There we are. I am on are my you phone, but why isn't it working on me? Hold on. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. That's so bizarre. I can't get it to come through my headset, but I can hear you. Where are you? Now you're going to hear. Thanks. I thought technology was supposed to be fun. It is fun depending on how you use it. <laughs> exactly. I was excited about testing this, you know, mobile live, you know. Oh, where are you at? I am at uh, Lincoln Center getting ready for a meeting here in about a half hour. And I thought this would be a great way to test be live on the run. On the run. Does your phone, you know, will it turn? 
What's so weird is I can't get the sound through my headsets. Oh, you can't hear me. And you're standing on your side if I turn my phone sideways. That help. There we go. <laughs> This was, I thought uh, one of the, uh, I thought this would actually be cool to, to be able to do it because we had talked about doing some of these, you know, when we were in remote, remote locations and doing different uh -huh. things like that. Is it not so fun for you? Well, it's fine. It's just a very small screen. <laughs> I try to turn it. It's, it's not as mobile friendly as you would. I've never tried it, so it's not as mobile friendly as you would like now, it to be. Did you, is your headset working? Turn it. Oops. I was going to say that yesterday's um, yesterday's activity with the tickets and everything was uh -huh. really fast. Uh, because it gave me ideas on like how to run a, you know, 10 day sale and how to do some other things, uh, being able to take and modify templates and, uh, put things in. I think what you've got set up with, um, Kyvio's templates is cool to me because it made it really easy for me to visually test a concept. It, you know, I put it all together and then I sent it off to Sean, had it all functional and operational. And he said, man, I really love that. I would take this and do this and do this and do this. And that was it. Um, and, and the other thing I did is I actually uh, finished up the U plus one homepage. Nice. And tried to re redirect uh, DNS settings and things like that. So I... Um, Again, what what you're sharing here is tremendously valuable in that um, people are really having a um, the opportunity to visualize what they can do with their marketing. For the entrepreneur, that's invaluable. Yeah, and we were, um, I was over at the Elite, elite cycle was a Tuesday in Austin and um, they were talking about closing the gap and the gap Richard Linder was going over it is the space between your benchmark and your goals each year and so they were like know the gap mind the gap just always know where you're at in that space in between right and one of the things that I noticed that he was talking about and we're talking about all these KPIs and we're trying to send the benchmark using the numbers from last year and you know raising the percentage, which is essentially the goal by a reasonable number based on standard or, well, there's several different growth patterns, right? Like exceptional growth and rapid growth that, you know, VCs and big businesses use. And I'm looking at my numbers from last year and realizing um, did not hit my goals and everything that I wanted to, you know, for, you know, a million different reasons. But you know what? I did notice that there are still 26 days as we stand right now in 2018 before it's over. And so everyone's wanting to set goals for next year to know next year's gap. But if you didn't hit your goals this year, in case you didn't know, there's still time to hustle and close the gap on this year's goal. That, especially if it's a reasonable gap. So I love that you're like pointing the websites, you know, in different directions and still pushing towards the end of the year because I feel like sitting in this goal making session that there's a lot of people who just checked out for the year. Well, I, cannot. I, I was thinking, I was thinking the exact same thing the other day. It's like you used to, you know, get a one day lull around Thanksgiving. It was like Monday of Thanksgiving week. You know, I said, uh, Hey, can we get together, have conversations or do this or do that? And everybody was already shut down. Then coming out of Thanksgiving, not everybody, a lot of people. And right. then coming out of Thanksgiving, uh, same thing. And, you know, quite frankly, we're using it to finalize some year-end deals. I mean, we, 
We closed and collected a monster deal yesterday. Uh, we closed a, a, what will be a really nice deal late the night before. Um, it's like, okay, actually you've got um, a little time pressure available to you to yep. serve you right now. And so if you can simply go, hey, I know now's the time for us to take a breath. Let's really strategize. Let's put everything in place so that we launch 2019 with a bang, you know, exactly. and and that's exactly what's starting to happen. We're setting up meetings. We're, we're um, finalizing deals. In fact, that's why this deal was a little bit of impromptu. I've got um, uh, four principals coming up out of Austin that are driving here this morning for a 930 meeting like i said pretty impromptu right <clears throat> to to finalize not finalize to to significantly move along something that's going to be huge in 2019 but if we don't do it now then we're going to mm -hmm. miss part of 2019 so yeah. why would you why would you purposefully not take the actions that you can right now it makes no exactly. sense. It is. Um, so one of the things that I was sitting in that meeting, as we kind of discussed yesterday, is, you know, I didn't do my website. I never, I sat through, you know, Ryan Dice's training on how to build this awesome high converting website page. I made the template, as we found yesterday, remember we were like trying to dig for it. I did it for clients. I did it for people on doublefunnel.tv. I never did it for myself. And I want you to know after we yeah. got off, I drove up to the office, you know, handled some meetings that I needed to handle. And then I was like, you know, darn it, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do it right now. It only took me 15 minutes. 15 minutes with a template. And I was like, that's just amazing. And I was so excited Then I kind of checked out for the rest of the day, that's bad on me. Um, but I did want to get it done. I wanted to get it launched before I put some promotions out there that I was like, I'm closing my gap for 2018. I'm not missing the goal. I missed it last year. Darn it, I'm making it this year. And it's, you know, trivial and it's not, you know, it doesn't mean anything but to anybody but me, but it was my goal. I'm going to hit it. So one of the things I did do is when I finished it, I threw my page to the wolves. I posted it up at the Digital Marketer Lab group. Um, told them, you know, there's only one button that doesn't work, but for the rest of it, um, go ahead and just let me have it, right? So the first thing, the very first thing I noticed was the image that pops up. Well, it's kind of cool, and especially in Digital Marketer Lab, since they kind of know what they're looking at a little bit, that was cool. Um, but originally, you know, this is not what I wanted it to say in the business section, not the business. Um, the title page title section and the little description. So I went back and that was the very first thing I optimized Unfortunately, it's not going to fix it on this post. So I'm going to kind of go through here and hit some of the feedback um, Rich Cook was one of the very first ones He was brutal So the first one is the capitalization of every word in the headline and sub headline bugs me It's not wrong. I just don't care for it. So Rich Cook is actually a great copywriter he writes novels, he actually sells them, gets them published, and all that jazz. So when he says something like that, so this one he says is fine. The only thing that he didn't like here was he said use the word use instead of utilize. Use. We know your business use, it's gotta be using. Digital start chapters. Um, but he didn't like all the capitalizations and the said headline. And part of that broke my heart He's right. Well, it might be correct by um, journalistic standards that all headlines have caps. It just looks funny here. Yeah. But again, you doing that with your homepage made me do that with you plus one dot com yesterday. Oh. You you incited activity. I called you to action. That's right. But these like little things like the have and let, I mean, these people know me, but they know me just enough to like not make fun of me. <sighs> and they're still stranger enough that they were really brutal. 
I knew I could handle it. So that well, was but I, think that's, I think that's what you need. I think you need accountability. I, I think even, again, like I said, mm -hmm. one of the reasons that I love learning this is not necessarily because I want to execute it, but I want to be able to audit and help with it. Yeah. So if I understand what you, you go through in designing this in my behalf, then it's going to allow us to communicate better. Not that I necessarily want to do it. Now, the interesting thing with Kybio is it's pretty darn user-friendly to the extent where I, I'm able to do a lot of it. Yeah. Did you cut out on me? Can't hear you. Um, but one of the other um, issues we had, since I've got Scott out, I don't mean to interrupt him, it said on the iPad, your two buttons, download and schedule, aren't the same height. He knows he's being picky. So on the mobile view here, I have them being the same. I'm betting he's on an iPad, um, a larger. We got you back, Scott? Sort of. Um, I'm not going to get like way sensitive about that one. This is not bad. Could probably do it better. I've never been good at these graphics for a scene on. It's probably one of those like Andrew O'Brien and hit him up. We got the three certifications. Um, the problem is it says the video explains, and I don't have the video there. So uh, do I want to reorder? We'll make it go away. I've kind of got them down here. I'm actually going to make these go away on small design devices. Scott, are you kind of there? I'm here, but it's here. Uh, internet's bad, all sorts of things going on. I was just going to sign off uh, okay. until tomorrow, but we will train on communications tomorrow. How's that? That sounds like a plan. Sorry, I thought that this would work a little smoother, but we now know we've done a field test. So well, it really depends on the internet. But yeah, big events don't always crack out. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, thanks everybody, and and pay attention to Jenna because she's awesome. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye, Scott. Have fun. Bye. Let's see if we got Scott's down. See what that's going to look like. Ooh, I'm going to have a little lag now. Let's take this one down. The lag on my whole computer. Oh, it's trying to format. Okay, back at the broadcast. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Um, so, let's see. We'll check that on my actual mobile device and fully certified strategy for your company. Got that looks good. Now this is way tiny. I've got some space here that's probably unnecessary that we could do in a different way. And then how it works. Very wordy on a mobile phone. They are exactly right. I'm not quite sure how I want to handle that. I want to make sure this is for the most part just done. I do like how this is done down here. We'll go back over here and let's go back to see what else they complained about. Damn, I'm being picky. The John Flynn box is too small to be readable on iPad. Same issue with the one lower down. So that is going to be on a larger iPad. Um, and that is probably going to come down to the idea of having different, um, what am I thinking about? So it, actually, this is really hard to read here because of how small the words are. Let's see if we can maybe figure out a different way. Okay, that did find there this. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split this actually up into a couple different types of box. I'm going to do a two column box here. And then we're going to do a three column box here and move these into it. So I'm still getting the same effect.
as I did before, but now on the different devices, it can format and stack, and these logos will be a little bigger. There we go. Let's take this one oops, way down. Do another two column here. This is what happens when you have no space. There we go. I want this box to go above that one. And then I need two sets of three columns. And we'll drag these up here. So this way on a mobile view, instead of trying to put six all the way across, it will just put three across. And this is where some people like the um, Wix style drag and drop. I don't at all. Um, and that's because then I don't, everything's not lined up and I really need everything lined up. That's gonna drive me a little crazy. So we're gonna come up here, our box and our block settings, we're gonna add a little for formatting on the bottom padding. So we have some space. And on these triple ones, All right, that's not it. Clone, column settings. I wanna preserve columns on mobile display. And then this way, it'll be three across. So the problem is if you don't hit this where it preserves the columns, then each one of these images is going to get a really big space and that's not cool. So hit save, save early, save often. And then I'm going to come over here back to mobile display. What do I got here? Really? Really? That works, but it didn't. Alrighty. Let's make sure we did this right. Preserved. And that one worked. That was not a problem. That one did not preserve which makes me think I hit the big one. I did. Okay, so easy fix. I hit the big one instead of the little one. I need the three column to preserve. There we go. Simple fix, save. Oops, that's not, I don't need to see the whole thing. I just need to see the mobile. Boom. So I've got like this nice little patch of our clients. And then I don't like that word just now that I'm looking at it. Just, just, it's just one more word that doesn't need to be there. Oh. All right, let's go back to another display and see what we can fix. I'm inclined to keep these here just the way they are because that's a lot to display. We've got a little padding there. Okay, let's go see what else. Oh, so what I need is some probably some testimonials that are not in a box like this. One there, one there. I like the white kind of being at the end. But we're going to drop another box. I want another box. I don't want it boxed in. Let's drop a white block. What blocks do we have to play with here? We did some more. I'm just going to do a basic one. Sorry, up here. Wide block. We're gonna make this one red. Is that too dark? We'll see. We'll do it in white. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Social, not social, social. Comment, comment. Form, counter, button, video. I know box, that's what it is. Testimonial box, which one do I love? I kinda like this one a little bit if I can change that color. Ooh, the background's not white. 
So let's do this first. Let's do columns. Let's put it in two columns. Why? I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do both. Um, let's get two columns. There we go. That's the two columns I'm looking for. Although that goes wide to wide. Now I want to take that whole thing out. Now I want to put in a block that is a normal block. Just to mix it up a little, I tend to use all wide blocks because it is a personal design preference, but it's a little different. Oh, that's why. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. I forgot. I don't want a border. Do not like a border. Columns. Two columns. What was I thinking? Maybe there was a reason. Silly me. Okay, now let's go get a box, except metal box. That works. And then another box for the testimonial. Let's just edit this one and copy it. Um, but on, um, can I change the colors in there? Corners, general, ooh, right here. Go with black. And we'll edit all this text to bing, white, even bold it. Name here, her domain. I can dig it. Let's see, we're going to copy this. And move the whole box in there. Boom. Let's go over to Facebook. Work there and see what testimonials I have looking working. That I have not used already. Rich on, you know what? Oh, there's my negative one, guys. If y'all want to see my negative post, stop promoting posts about how Facebook needs to be more fun and less political. You privileged naval geezer. Mm. Haters gonna hate. It's all good. Post recent. All Sanjay Ruffin. I will use him on my page then. And right here. Yep, sometimes it gets me and sometimes it doesn't. Normal, white, old. Lotto. Oh, helps if I get rid of the fake stuff. Oh, 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 oh. I want it so short. I don't think that's bad. Um, let's click on Sanjay here. Sanjay Banerjee. How do you spell it? Yay! I'm still a photo. Um, maybe one that has more of him in it would be great. There you go. I'm going to save the whole page, save image to downloads. And then we're going to go replace this image. 
Browse upload, media. Okay, it's gonna follow me around. So if I squish the page, I figured I was a little tricker on this. I cannot wait. So they come out with Kyvio 2.0. Hopefully that will be one of the things that works better. People, clients. Social testimonials. Trying to keep it organized. Trying, 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 trying. So we are gonna take Sanjay's, you know what, let's be smart about this and rename it. Somebody was pointing out that I had pictures that had like the name screenshot. Yeah, got done. News image. <clears throat> All right. Can I edit? inside of this oop that's not what I meant ooh um I think that's not cropping that's total image dimensions you know what Oh, too early, too early. We're going to get it right about square. We're going to use a screenshot instead. Um, there's uploader. Here we go. Choose files, and this will be on desktop. So it's going to say screenshot. See that right there? Sounds okay with me. It's okay. There we go. Yay, it's more circle. Oh my gosh, look at all the things. Technology and business strategy consultant. Just gonna go with what he says. Buzz in as oh, and then we need another one. Which is a piece of work. All right, Rich, do you have a professional photo? Fairlington. So hyper professional. And then he's got Facebook. <laughs> Later. Let's see if I got rich. Yeah. There we go. Looks like a baby. Guys, do not update there. Look at that. That's okay. We still have them. His picture is just zero. Zero dot JPEG. That's outstanding. Right here. Let's see. He is. Here's my thing out here. Do we have a website? There we go. Well, we, we obviously didn't do their website. Obviously, guys. That would be so much better. Anyways. Yeah. 
paste them at style. Of course it didn't. Normal, normal, lato. Normal, normal, lato. And then let's see what gray they've got going on here on the template. Is it? Yay. I say they, I built it. <sighs> Rich Young and his actual. Paste and match style. Mm, where did normal go? Normal. Normal. Auto. White. Bold. Boom. It's going to up three, three lines. Yay. Now I'm wondering if I need style formatting. All right, not technically love, love with it, but I do like that it is easier to read. We'll probably even highlight here. 18, 20. There we go. So just a little bigger. There we go. So now I have a couple. So if you can't read these, you are so a couple um, bigger ones that you can see. Let's see what else we have Rich Cook with. Um, step two under how it works says, says you'll double my business by 2019. That gives you less than a month. Try in or in just a year. Good point. All these little sanity checks. Number two. Oh, one word out. Okay. Um, I do like the initial caps in that sentence. Our mission is to double the size. Um, helps emphasize the statement without being overbearing, like bold or even italics. In step three, add a space on either side of the ellipsis. Not strictly required, but it adds white space and makes blocks of text easier to read. You act like I know what that means. I think you're talking about ellipses. Do, 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 do. Okay. The bottom immediately after that you say that is cool. On which one? Oh, 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 we're talking to the very bottom here. All right, so one of the, I'll get to that one. Where is he? Who is, oh. I don't know what he's saying. Put the word cool in here. I missed a space. Boom. That was easy. In step four. Okay. okay, step four. So I just overdid it. Okay. Hmm. Oops. 
and see here I have four dots instead of three. Oh, instead of three for the ellipses, still same and still undecided, sub headline at the bottom immediately. Right down here. Ah, I see now. Four dots instead of three. Man, he does pay attention. Picky, picky, picky there. Love the who, it's four subhead, not everyone. Nice. I don't even know what I mean. Not everyone. We only work with growth companies that need more customers. It's not perfect, but it's all right. The copy under the three types you list is a, all fully justified. So taking it to left justified. Um, dum 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 dum. Oops, that's what that looks like. Such a nice line. Uh, I mean, he's right. It has some weirdness though to it. I was always a fan of fully justified. It's one of my favorites. Probably because it's a newspaper thing. It's Miss Fane's fault. She embedded it in my brain. <sighs> it hurts my eyes a little bit. Um, da -dum -dum. Between certain rooms makes it hard to read. Soul sucking nine to five is great. Great personal voice there, and that's works better that works better that that is above. It's more in your distinct voice. I'd like to see why there's no risk in that last part, a bullet list, we guarantee, etc. A bullet list. And there's cats. I hope that's fine there. Um, da -dum -dum. And the 73 tactics is a bit intimidating. I don't know. Didn't download it, but I don't know how you present it, but I'm honestly a bit afraid to. Could you give them five or ten and then say we have 73 total tactics? Whew. It's way up here. I'll just download free marketing tactics. I don't want to mess up with how many words are there right now. Uh, it's very clean overall. I think the copy needs a rewrite to punch up your voice more. You've got a strong personality, somewhat salty. I play that up. <laughs> Get drunk, then rewrite. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where'd I go? Live right now. Get drunk and read it. After you sober up, you can edit. That's from a Hemingway quote. Write drunk, edit sober. He also said the first draft of anything is shit. Only two things he wrote I like. Um, hope this is helpful. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, so that was, oops, I don't need to edit his words. Um, da -dum. So that was that one. Wow, love the graphic you guys made. Um, Checklehead, that's in the video for those who haven't watched it. Um, I would have some word and line height padding suggestions. Every way to possibly market your business equals split infin infinitive. Oh my goodness, these editors. Um, every way to possibly market your business. Right here. Every way all the ways to
Christmas fancy Okay, let's see what else she got. Subheading at the top is really long, and I wonder why a group called Warfare Marketing doesn't talk about war at some point. Not this, but something like go to war against your competitors. It's like having a nuclear option when you're throwing sticks and stones. Not that obviously, but warfare is a pretty strong statement. Huh. I'm going to have to look on that one. That one's going to take a little longer to put warfare marketing more into it. Um, my immediate feedback is it's a bit wordy with walls of text that turn off your readers, especially on your hero section. Should be max two lines, in my opinion. On mobile, you have a headline, logos, and then video. I do. to work on how to work on words. Video is cool. You kick ass. Yay. Damn girl, that's just amazing. Loves a vid, but she sure talks fast. Yes, she does. This is a lot of words. Nothing like seeing the playbook. You can be okay. Is that no, it is not me on the video. Mind blown. All right. Love the look and feel of the messaging. One area of confusion for me was this section. Okay. Um, during our strategy session, that is bullet number four. All right? Nope, this one. Three. Let's see what we got here. It's difficult to conquer the world if you don't know how to get out of the city. During our strategy session, we will map out at least one full customer value journey for your business for free. In addition to the complete CDJ, we'll give you our full business growth packet just for your time. Just take that out. Start here. I think that, let's see what he said. I'm not clear if the value of the normal selling price is 97 if it's free. Okay, during our study session, we will map out the complete customer value journey for your business for free. Plus, you'll receive our full business. That's just our way of saying. I do like that part. That's just our way of saying thank you for your time. Of saying a little longer. Brevity is the hard part. Hope that helps. All right, guilty. Uh, yes, we all, the marketers doing stuff. Thank you for sharing. I have to say, I clicked the image and hope to see something like it when I landed. Then I got there and I was overwhelmed by content. Great content, but I didn't know where to go. It's just input from someone who has no idea what you do or what I was going to see when I clicked, which might not be, a, which not be your target audience. Maybe shorten the page to one or two pieces of content you want someone to take in and then actions you want them to take. Ooh, so yeah, it would definitely be if I could shorten this up, that might be better. I'll work on that. Just FYI, I'm seeing stuff format incorrectly on your current homepage. Yes, the current homepage needs help. Congrats, checking it out today. So cool, that is a lot of the feedback and we're kind of wrapping it up on 10. So the nice part of it is, oops, I go to save here. And let's go view it. So yeah, that could be a little shorter. Add some extra padding right there. Why is that a different? This is what he was talking about. Is 
download the marketing packet checklist. Every way I think there's one word to market your every way. Not one word. Okay. And then this one. Schedule. Um, I'm going to send for Okay, cool. Same. Um, now we're going to save again. And we're going to refresh. Cool. We got these the same. That should be less of a problem. Got those hanging out. I'm not sure how I want to handle it. I kind of want to put those on a white background. We'll put them one down here. It's never done. All right, let's see. Yeah. I'm actually going to move this over here. Oh, I've got to move them all individually. Where'd that one go? There it is. That's why the image shows up first, so it's not quite as wordy looking. See what happens when you get even mouse. Don't need a mouse. It's a little big. Boom. Okay. And then let's try moving rich. Come on. Yep. A little heavy on the padding. Vertical padding. Have space for him. Hmm. Let's slip this in a two columns. Not quite per. We're going to make this one little. I want this one to be last. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, now let's try. 
Refresh. Oh, yeah, I like that little blend one there. It kind of makes an arrow, and then this will show up first. All of that graphic could be overwhelming. I like how it's all zoomed super far out, so I'm not even sure y'all can see that. Is that better? Oh, well, y'all have a big screen. Big screen, big screen. And oh, where am I at? Let's see. I don't have an actual, a lot of real people faces, so I might kind of work on that. I got the one guy kind of in the background, but other than that, I have that, and then I will get off here, and I um, may or may not go live again just to show you how I build a down and dirty, really fast offer to send out to partners, because I mentioned um, I got earlier working on gap goals, and I was short a little bit, so instead of giving up because of the last three weeks here of December and the year, why not do one final down and dirty launch to close the gap on your goals? So um, I might do that live, we'll see. And I, if I do, I'll make sure to post that into the FemBot Army group. If you're not in that Facebook group, go join it now. Um, and if you'd like us to work on your stuff in the morning from nine to 10, go to doublefunnel.tv, we're we'll right here, ooh, doublefunnel.tv and submit your form. I try to keep it really simple. This is like three pages, right? You start here, it's gonna take you to a place with live episodes that are not so recent. So here is the steps. If you're wondering what's the catch, the catch is just a, I want to do something more important than play on Facebook from nine to 10, which is what I don't really do anyway. Um, and I wanna build my affiliate income, so I don't, keep everything transparent. The rules for having us build live on Double Funnel TV are really simple. Um, you will have to click a verification email to make sure you're a real person. You can go to your email and click it. You're going to get access to an application in our membership site for Double Funnel TV. Just complete that application. Again, that is inside the membership site because I do not want everybody going through the application. Um, follow us on Facebook to join and the funnel builds live. I'm not gonna check that, but then you get hooked up over there. You do need to join Kyvio for funnels, websites, membership sites, and more, because that is what we're building in. And I'll give you a little hookup right now. Get Kyvio now before they launch 2.0, because 2.0, the price is gonna go up, and you get grandfathered in if you buy it now. Um, do join Active Campaign. I'm not gonna mandate this if you are you're not building an Active Campaign, but if we are building anything that's like an opt-in page, you do need active campaign. I need something to connect to Kybio. They do have actually email inside of Kybio, but there's a lot of limitations um, currently right now, and it's going to be another year before they get that all fixed up. And then join Business Growth Network. This is the only place where I actually get a significant chunk of money at all, but it's super expensive at $17 a month. But you get to go access to our private Facebook group where we'll answer all your questions. And we might do a launch here at the beginning if you want it for a lifetime, but that's not available yet. And then join our private Facebook group to see all the inside look on how we are getting all this crazy stuff done. So if you have any questions, just take care of it. Go over here to build my funnel, get on the list, and we'll help move you through. All right, bye guys, I hope you have a great morning. And Scott says hi, even if he's not here at the time being. All right, bye guys.